Ethan's Eyeball Sucker. So you have eight rooms with trained folks with the eyeball sucker, and then you have one doctor there. You have going to Red Alert, Blue no. Code. The doctor comes in and can help out. That sounds horrific. Wow, Ethan, great movie. Now let's talk about Mr. Beast. Let's try to hit our all of our main topics here. So I think everybody had kind of a visceral reaction to this thumbnail. First of all, without even analyzing the content of the video, I think we can all just look at this and appreciate how fucking dystopian and weird it is. Like this man, the smile, first of all, is why, just, why are the thumbos like it's that? It's just weird, man. This like is this a new thing? I mean, if Mr. Beast is doing it, it must be like there must be a reason for it. But yeah, it is kind of, it's so creepy. And then this kid who's like, obviously like fake Photoshop tears, but it's almost like, look what I did for this fuck, little fucker. I don't know. He's like, he, he thinks he's like yeah, the Willy the Wonka. Thumbo, the Thumbo eyes. universally is like seen as like a weird one. But I think that's like the new meta, I guess, on YouTube is like a Darmon ass Thumbo. Yeah. Well, you know? Mr. B, yeah, like you said, if Mr. Beast is doing it, then you know that's what it is. Video but, has uh, and you know how 76 he works. million he, views right now. What? Video has 76 million views, so something's God. working. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. Uh, immediately, and I saw some people talking about, like, this This thumbnail's demonic. Yeah, it was it all is. overruled it who is. said that there's something entirely demonic about this thing. And he left it at that, and he just showed, like, the thumbnail. And people were like, you're saying it's demonic to cure a thousand people's blindness? Like, fuck you. And the dude that they're dunking on is like a fucking public defender. Like, dude, what do you mean? He's like, his entire life is fucking charity, you dickheads. Shut the fuck up. Like, he's literally... People... He, he literally defends poor people in the criminal justice system. Like, shut the fuck up. Um, people get very defensive of Mr. Beast, you know. And I get it. There's people that try to take shots at him, some journalists and stuff over silly shit. And he is, he is, you know, a good guy that does good things. And people fucking just love him, right? Yeah. I, but at I, the same time, I'm not criticizing the, what he, I think he did a great thing. I think he did a great thing. Yeah. And I think the people who are criticizing it, you and others, the criticism is that the fact that we live in a country where so many fucking people are desperate for an entirely curable Ten illness. Ten minute surgery dude it's a terrible minutes. blindness like they cannot see and yeah. you can cure it in 10 minutes yeah it's just like little suck and and it's like so third world of us well i mean but so even he, mr b's like who is still very much a, a big fan of capitalism can you can you switch to this uh he's a big fan of capitalism jimmy uh, and and even he recognizes, despite being a big fan of capitalism, that this is like weird because he he literally in the video says it doesn't really make sense because like these guys could just go back to work after their blindness is cured. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, that is again, he, he has arrived at the heart of the problem, which is that it doesn't even make sense from a pro capitalism perspective because you would have a more efficient labor force that you can you know, that you can work harder if you want. From the, from the point of capital owners, that's precisely the reason why most developed nations, if not all of them, have some form of either affordable or free health care for this fucking reason. So the, the actually... Except uh, for America. And we're pieces of shit. I think Mr. Beast is actually getting a little bit radicalized from this, which is great, right? Cause, I don't think he is. But listen to this tweet. He says, I don't understand why curable blindness is a thing. Why don't governments step in and help? Even if you're thinking purely from a financial standpoint, it's hard to see how they don't ROI on taxes from people being able to work again. That he's 100% right. And the reason is because um, we hate poor people. We hate. We no, hate the reason people. is because we can make more, more people money. We can make more money off of this. Money. That's the whole money. point. It's like uh, we are so desperately looking at any avenue we can to just squeeze out like the remainder profits that we can and america is like accelerated on the capitalism uh on the on the stages of capitalism i guess than other countries in the sense that like it's it's conducting self-harm to its labor force to its citizens specifically so it can make more money in the stock market it and in general yuck. drive more profits <laughs> because it's profitable I think, Especially I think because Americans hate poor people. 
they don't want to help other people. They think that they should help themselves. Well, and Steinbeck, it, Steinbeck is, is, has the wonderful quote on this. Mm -hmm. Socialism will never work. I mean, I guess it's paraphr I'm paraphrasing it, and it's attributed to Steinbeck. But he says socialism will never work in America because the working class do not see themselves as a, the exploited proletariat, but instead temporarily embarrassed millionaires. I think that was Mark Twain. It's attributed to Steinbeck, but I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's either of them. Mm -hmm. I'm looking yeah. it up right now. But, but yeah, but it that, makes that sense if it is exactly Steinbeck. Right. Because we have this rugged individualism and people, especially poor people who are like, I'm barely rich enough to afford that. Then they go, I'm not, I don't want none of my taxes going. They get obsessed with like, this is my money. Fixing yeah. these goddamn homeless degenerates. Money. Money. They're like, I cannot see. I cannot work. Go flip a burger, you degenerate. I cannot see. Well, that's your problem. Maybe your mama shouldn't fuck their cousin. See y'all, partners. It's just, it, it, is, it is unimaginably cruel, and it's very frustrating anytime I fucking see, like, the feel-good stories that they run in the media specifically to be like, see, <coughs> we, have the, we have the power to take, you know, matters into our own hands and save ourselves. And it's like, bro, everywhere else, like in fucking Brazil, people aren't, thinking about this in the same That's way. What, yeah, so in his video, something that stood out to me is he lists all these other countries that he's going to to help people yeah. with uh, preventable blindness. So it's like America, and then the other shit was like... Uh, it's just all Third African World. nations. Yeah, like yeah. All, all developing countries. It's America and then developing nations because yeah. America is a third world country with a Gucci belt, straight up. Jama Here, let's see. Yeah, this all as many people as possible. Western imperialism. Me Mexico one surprised me a little bit, but I guess we looked into that because Mexico does have universal. I guess it's just a really long wait to get it done. Honduras, Indonesia, Brazil, Vietnam, in Brazil, Kenya. It's free too. In Vietnam, it's like also Jamaica, and and where we had the biggest impact of all, America. Yeah. It's crazy though. Like as far as as far as looking at those countries, dead incurable blindness. Oh. <laughs> Baseball no. games and picnics in July. Curable blindness. What is that? Curable blindness. blindness. It's just Fireworks ten minutes the with the needle, and you can see once again. That's America. That's All right. America. Number one in police brutality per capita. <coughs> number one in like uh, the the prisoner population on the planet in totality, but also uh, uh, per capita. You know, number one in medical debt. It's just we're we are number one, baby, in like all the fucking worst ways that you could think. Um, it was Steinbeck, actually. The no, it is un it, yeah. it is misattributed to Steinbeck regularly. I'm pretty sure it's not actually. What, what I'm seeing is that the 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 version uh, temporarily embarrassed millionaires is is not like that's a later corruption of the actual quote, which is that everyone is a temporarily embarrassed capitalist, and that is Steinbeck. He did say that. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. So I think the video, you know, it exposes something really fucked up about our country, and that's why I think people were having a reaction, not to Jimmy. Who obviously he's doing a good thing. He's putting his money out there to help people, and that's awesome. But uh, we, I don't. Nobody wants to see how much we're actually failing the people of this country. I think the funnier part about that quote that I have to also mention the original quote is uh, uh, from a short history in progress by Ronald Wright, um, and something that he has like Steinbeck has talked about regularly about communists is that. He says, I guess the trouble was that we didn't have any self-admitted proletarians, people who are, you know, proud right, of being working right. class. Everyone was a temporarily embarrassed capitalist. Maybe the communists so closely questioned by the investigation committees were a danger to America, but the ones I knew, at least they admitted to be communists, couldn't have, couldn't have disrupted a Sunday school picnic. Besides, they were too busy fighting amongst themselves. Some things mm. never change. Funny. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, the average price for this surgery in the United States is $7,000. It takes 15 minutes to perform. That's a lot of money for a $15 operation, a 15 minute operation. Yeah. But if it's just putting a little vacuum shit, I'll do it. You know what I mean? Just train, like, we don't need, why do we need doctors?
Just train someone with a little vacuum and put, get it in there and suck that shit out, bro. Dude, I'm not even joking. Wait, are you? See no, dude. Of course not. What no, the fuck? No, but if, if it's just That's literally like the libertarian solution. Absolutely not. No, listen not. to what I'm saying, bro. If it's just if you just need them to do this one procedure, you can learn how to do it and do it super cheap for a ton of people. Bro, the problem is not that like qualifications are too high to do medical procedures. No, but this one we got to we got let's get people in there and start sucking, bro. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> What's funny about that is like when something goes sideways, you start like gushing blood out of an eyeball artery. He's like, "Oh, I don't know what to do." Yeah, I don't I don't know if I'm letting yeah, But no. if you can't see, <laughs> Then, like, what do you have to lose to go to fucking... Dude, that's crazy. You know, Dude, you Jeff, are literally... Jeff's eyeball sucker chop. <laughs> okay, you are unironically making, like, the Milton Friedman argument right now. I'm not this even... Is like, this is, like, the hyper-libertarian solution. Dude, I'm not saying open-heart surgery should be done by, like, your no. neighbor, Barbara. All, all medical I'm just procedures saying, should I'm saying be the eyeball conducted. shit, I'm saying... Let's no shot. get some. Let's get some suckers. I, I am not in agreement there. No, here's the real solution. You you are wrong. What you should do is not deregulate medicine, but instead make it free to educate people, so we have more fucking doctors. It's and cheaper. My way's cheaper. And also have a public healthcare structure, a nationalized healthcare structure, where doctors have to do a couple years in rural hospitals, so we can finally have better medicine in rural areas because currently as it stands even though healthcare is not considered well hospital uh, administration is not considered profitable and therefore there aren't enough uh, you know rural hospitals it's not profitable anywhere it's already it's already being operated by like you know wealthy donors and and uh, and, and government spending make it so that doctors have to go and work well, in I, rural I hospitals. have an idea how about this there's a clinic, Ethan's Eyeball Sucker, and then you have a, hold on, hear me out. So you have eight rooms with trained, trained folks with the Eyeball Sucker, and then you have one doctor there, so if something goes wrong, they could, if the eyeball starts to die, or their blood, did they have going to red alert, blue no. code, the doctor comes in and can help out. Hold no. it. That sounds horrific. Yeah, but you know what's horrific? Not seeing when you can see. Now, I, I understand why you have this opinion, but I can see a million ways that this goes wrong, and you're basically saying, listen, like, you know, poor people who can't get their shit fixed, like, yeah, they're going to get some lower quality health care, but, you know, it's a Better than it's a nothing. Good, no, that's an awful way to look at it. That's... Like that is the is it? Yes, Ethan. That's crazy. It's no. better than nothing, dude. No, you need to. You need like to if I'm if I'm everyone like homeless, gets quality health care. Look, obviously, that's not the ideal solution, right? Obviously, it's it's not a good solution it's at all. It's not the ideal. It's solution. one shared by many libertarians too. I'm just I'm uh, letting listen. You I don't know. care about what libertarians care about. Okay, fuck. They can all go die in a fire. I don't care. <laughs> this is me. I am metaphorically. I'm thinking. Well, what am, what am I? I don't have a fire. I'm not throwing anyone to a fire, right? <laughs> you don't have a fire. I can wish death. He doesn't have access to fire. I can. I can. You can't anything. <laughs> let's see. Let's move. I'm not. Let's get off the death. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I'm not saying it's the ideal solution, but it is a solution. Yes. I right? mean, it yeah, is a I, I, I acknowledge that of it is a solution. It's a solution. There are got plenty. him. It's just, but if it's not a good solution, Ethan. It's a bad one because it it's one that would lead to many, many complications down the line, long term consequences. It's literally you don't know that. Why You're just do we saying that? Why do we need you abortion? You don't know clinics? that. Why do we need abortion clinics? Why do we need abortion facilities? People could technically do back alley abortions. What happens when people do back alley abortions by like? Oh, this isn't back alley. Random though. untrained people who are like trying to offer them help with like you know. Uh, uh, I'm not saying them... back alley fucking cataract surgery. I'm saying Ethan's eyeball sucking. I chat. feel like highly I feel trained like cataract <laughs> surgery is a little bit more complicated than taking an abortion pill, which you can now at this point do at home. Uh, when the moment that we talk about surgery, even if it's just a little suck. I think that that is still a very complicated process and it should be handled by medical professionals, not just people who are like, you know, learning about eyeball suck. Listen, we just did a poll. 32% says they would let me suck their eyeball. 
And they're yeah. not even blind, probably. Sixty-six percent says no. It's sucks. yeah, but still thirty percent. It's, look, it's not lot. looking good, Ethan. I, I, no, but right. you're you're missing the the plot. You're missing the the real point. Is thirty percent said yes. While sucking. Up. <laughs> That's a business. The we principle business. behind what you're advocating for is exactly why Milton Friedman uh, would advocate for the Ford Pinto to continue. Bro, I'm not co-signing Milton. I don't even no, co-sign know, anybody named Milton. I know, but the principle is the same because, like. You're basically saying individuals as consumers have the responsibility to make rational choices in the market and therefore government regulation should be abolished in this field or at least like deregulated because ultimately if you die and you get a Ford Pinto, if your fucking car explodes and when you're in the process of driving it, it's not up to Ford and it's not up to the government to make sure that there are standards that they need to abide by. It's up to the individual consumer that made the choice. And if they're poor, they made the wrong choice by getting a Pinto. But at least they got a car for the process before they exploded on them. Bro, I don't even know what you're talking about. I just want to suck people's eyeballs. Okay. I think I found a video. Listen, I want to show you this, okay? How hard is it? Can we train? To be honest, it looks pretty hard. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, God. That's really hard to look at. I don't. I think it's fine. It's a medical. I mean, it's not graphic. It's not even bloody. Yeah, I mean, bro, I you guess want you want some motherfucker that's not Full a doctor to do that. this. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let, let's. I just want to see. I want to see how how easy. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty gnarly. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah, I'm pretty sure I would rather have this be. You know, like have highly have trained the qualifications for this, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying they shouldn't be highly trained. Yeah, Jesus, play the chestnut gnarly. song over this instead. How about <laughs> yeah, that? Hassan said it, not me. <laughs> after, it. after watching this, Ethan, I, I, I don't, I don't think I want to talk about my medical eyeball. procedures. Like, what the oh, fuck? No. We are literally, we are not living in the 14th century. Okay, That's we're in 2023. Gnarly. We already know that this shit. <laughs> Is like super hard to do. Oh what God. the fuck? wild? This is honestly that's a crazy. lot of stuff on there. <laughs> Ethan's like, I don't get it. Like, what's the deal with surgery? You just like cut someone. Bro, get a I'm not talking about it. open heart. Damn. <laughs> I mean, that's the same like caveman fucking attitude that people had in like. Wow. The... That was wild to see, though. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I could oh. do that. I could do that. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> it's just a little sucky sucky. Yeah, you yeah. You practice, you get a VR, you get a little eyeball. Ethan, you, I'm seeing this yeah. video is actually advertising cataractcoach.com. Maybe this is, maybe hey. you could get coached. No, <laughs> that's, the, that's the worst part. So, so um, optometrists are like... Uh, like I get the, that off screen. A lot that's of right. the, the vision uh, as a part of like healthcare is usually not like fully covered by insurance almost globally. And part of that is because like it is a very privatized sector and they maintain low prices on some of the things. Uh, I think like LASIK in general, like LASIK eye surgery is one that like libertarians always talk about. Is it LASIK eye surgery? Let me, I think I, don't those are a lot of, now. I think it's a lot of private companies that do the LASIK. Stuff. Yeah. So like, they're always they always use that as like a, well look how easy it is to do LASIK eye surgery like and that's because it's deregulated and I'm like nope fuck it get let the government pay for it make sure that the people doing it are you know make sure the people what about doing this? it are no what knowledgeable about, cuz you got to go to you got to go to the doc to become a doctor it's like 8 12 years something like that right of school on top of your bachelor's so let's say this eyeball sucking school one year all about eyeball sucking. They'll be more trained than a doctor. You think doctors do one year on eyeball sucking? Hell no. One year. I don't know the. I don't know the process, but I'm sure that you need to learn everything about like the brain and human anatomy before you can do eyeball sucking. Also, You're ultimately going to come around to my argument, which is that like you need in order to become a doctor, you definitely need training, and you definitely need right. a fuckload of Let's knowledge. Pull up this and it's not about like deregulating uh, that aspect, deregulating the training aspect. It's more so about uh, making it so that more doctors can exist by depleting the the financial component. I mean, uh, making it easier for people to become doctors in general. Yeah, Tim Pool was advocating for Tim me. Pool is actually with us. This is a, a a moment of clarity for our country. Mr. Beast is galvanizing everybody to make cataract surgery accessible this year. Hassan Piker. Wait, having seen that video, would you let Ethan suck your eyeball? 
It's still 22% says yes. So there's still 20. Yeah, I did a new poll uh, post video to see what the change was. I in. guarantee the yes you guys, gone down a, a if bit. somebody came from eyeball sucking school after one year and they sat here, they'd be they'd have all the facts, bro, and y'all be with 99% suck me daddy. Anyway, whatever. Somebody, uh, uh, a uh, <laughs> fan just left a message. I'm studying optometry. And the space you're working with in a cataract surgery is like one tenth of a millimeter. But I think Ethan could do it. That's there it said. is, baby. <laughs> the fans. You're love not helping, it. Jay. <laughs> yeah, this the video small, the changed small. my mind. Ethan's got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, y'all are dude, freaks. Dude. The smaller the space, the less work. Yeah. Okay. Good thing. The good thing. Yeah, why do we need med school, bro? People are fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> no, med school is good. Med school is it, good. It's just so it, it's it's bankrupt, dude. It's defunct. It's just silly. You don't need that kind of training. Didn't say that. that. <laughs> you watch this video, you go, oh, how how cute and how nice. I watch the video and I'm filled with rage. That, What's like, wrong? You. That we shut off access to a 10 minute procedure because we paywalled it and decided that like some people just simply can't get it. It is so insanely frustrating That's that it like it, it's up to like people who are too poor. Where's Tim talking about it? I just heard Hassan say all that. Uh, in two seconds. He's literally in the room with me. Dextero have... says Twitch streamer Hassan is beast. <laughs> Dexterous you have like an uncanny surgery. ability Treating to pause concept. things right before it gets <laughs> to the relevant. He's part. right. <laughs> he's not ragging on Mr. Beast. Oh. Dextero says Twitch streamer oh Hassan explained why he's filled with rage from watching Mr. Beast's newest video where he cures a thousand people's blindness. He's right. Why is it up to one YouTube guy to make content Whoa, off of this, which will generate money? To, to, to do that, worry, I just, it's mind-blowing to me. He's right and there, man. He doesn't even fully go uh, off the rails, in my opinion. Like, he just... <laughs> He just, look, I'll just give you the short and sweet of it. I covered this yesterday as well. He's actually mad about my coverage of it because, like, one of my fucking fan channels, Hassan Abe Productions, posted it like, you know, Tim Pool calls out Hassan Piker or whatever when, like, he was agreeing with me. And, you know, fucking Hassan Abe Productions doing clickbait again, getting me in trouble. But um, he basically says... The government is spending a hundred billion dollars in Ukraine. The government is giving millions of dollars to do like, uh, you know, uh, gender education in Pakistan or whatever. He Why just, the fuck yeah. are they spending that money on that? They should Ugh, just be spending the money here on healthcare, which I agree. Okay, I agree. But I was making of uh, making fun of Tim Pool, saying like, yeah, the fucking the 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 gender thing is true. Okay, the foreign the the State Department does shit like that specifically for PR because they want the liberals in America to be like, oh yeah, uh, you know, our our military machine isn't just about uh, endless uh, bloodshed and and uh, extracting natural resources from the third world by force. It's actually about teaching people in Pakistani madrasas about they them non-binary people. Like it's not. It's just a fucking. That's literally a blip on the radar. It's just. I love that's like. That. It's ten million dollars. Yeah, nothing. Much is that that's of the national budget. And I fucking doubt that that actually ends up uh, going <coughs> to the, a program like that. Dude, if you if you express that as like a percentage of the national budget, it'll look like safe one safe moon's value. You know what I mean? One, yeah. One crypto it's nothing. Zoo. It's nothing. And he like yeah. misunderstood and he got mad. He was like, even when I'm defending Hassan, like, why is he fucking attacking me? And I was like, bro, it's a fucking fan account. Like, good research there, Tim. Yeah, he said you don't do your. T Dummy. He says I didn't do my research, but I actually did. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't say that the government is not actually, you know, spending money on on teaching people in Pakistan about being non-binary or whatever. I I know that there is a blip on the there's a blip in the overall part the, budget. Part of the funding agreement for Ukraine is they have to put kitty litter boxes in public <laughs> bathrooms for yeah. all the yeah. the cat girls to use. We we are not. We're we're not in Ukraine because we want emancipation for Ukrainian people. We're in Ukraine because we needed to reappropriate the budgets from Afghanistan to like another avenue. And this was perfect. True King. <laughs>